there is another way to compare results from both methodologies without any further processing. It should be drawn a chart whose axis represent the values of the two different methods. At the y-axis, energy values are represented, whereas in the case of the x-axis, economic values are represented. Thus, a particular ecosystem service, such as carbon sequestration, would be represented by a point whose coordinates are the economic value and the energy value. Similarly, the other services can be represented in the same way, forming a cloud of points. From this cloud, now, a trend line can be extracted. But before getting the trend line, an imagination exercise was made attempting to understand how the trend line would be in the best case. Firstly, it was thought which conditions define what would be an ideal result in order to be then translated into mathematic expressions. Thus, it was concluded that the ideal result should demonstrate that for every positive energy value, there has to be an economic value. In other words, the economic method internalizes the full range of energy values, regardless the energy investment required. Mathematically, this implies the fact that the trend line should pass through the origin of coordinates, since the value of zero dollars can only match the zero energy invested. Another of the ideal characteristics would be discovering from the trend line that humans value the environment and services in the point of view of the ecosystem itself, giving more value to those which require more effort. These conditions fit with the representation of a strain line, with which the effort or the energy expended by the ecosystem would be proportional to its monetary value and the difference in efforts between two different services will be proportional also to the difference in the economic values. This ideal situation also allows to solve the negative aspects from both methods. Obtaining a regression line under these conditions allows to obtain the money transformity for ecosystem services, which is equal to the slope of the regression line equation. This is an important figure, as it allows to obtain the monetary value of the ecosystem services based on their energy values, expressing the value of the environmental effort in units easily comprehensible and manageable for all society. Besides, there is no lack of subjectivity, as these figures born from the currently values given to the AES so they can be considered a valid instrument of policy. For all these reasons, seems to be interesting to obtain the ideal situation regardless of the fit. The adjustment defined by the determination coefficient provides additional information indicating how far society is from the environmental mentality. In other words, the situation in which people would think like nature appreciating its effort. Although it serves to solve the problems stated at the beginning, the previous explanation is not useful to analyze the real situation nowadays. In order to do that, the regression line has to maximize the representativeness of the points. In other words, the determination coefficient has to be as close to one as possible. In this case, the shape is not concreted and will show the way that people think. Besides, the cut of the train line with the axis will clear if the current methodology internalizes the full range of energy values for ecosystem services. 
The joint representation of both situations, the real and the ideal one, opens new possibilities for analysis. It can be seen that at some energy values the price paid for a particular service is greater in the real situation than in the ideal one, whereas in other settings the opposite phenomenon occurs. This evidences that at some energy ranges, a change of the real situation to the ideal one could lead to economic losses. But there are other ranges in which situation is reversed. So, what would happen in global terms? Would the agricultural sector focus on energy crops lose money with the change? To solve this problem, the solution is to integrate the equations of both trend lines. If the area bonded by the ideal line is greater than the area bonded by the real line, there would be gains with the change from the real situation to the ideal one. But what happens if the areas are equal? Then, from the economic point of view, a change would not mean losses or gains. This situation has received the name of environmental mentality virtually equivalent. However, sometimes due to the distribution of the points, concentrated in a concrete area, analyzing the full range of energy values can be misleading. In this case, the specific points should be used to compare the ideal situation to the real one, instead of using the real trend line. Then, earnings or losses are the result from deducting the current price to the ideal price, which is obtained using the ideal situation equation line. If this time losses are equal to the earnings, then the situation is analogous to the previous one, but now this is known with the name of environmental mentality particularly equivalent. <laughs>